the HTML content of our email will use this template, which is totally static. For example, see this link going to hashtag homepage? That's just a placeholder. Normally in a template, we would use the path function to generate a URL to the homepage route. The name of that route is check out article controller. There it is. The homepage route name is app underscore homepage. So we would normally say path app underscore homepage. The problem is that this will generate a relative URL. It will literally generate href equals slash. But for an email, all paths must be absolute. To force that, change path to URL. That's it. Symphony will detect the domain name, localhost colon 8000, while we're coding locally, and use that to prefix the URL. Let's fix a few other URLs. For the link to create a new article, replace the hard coded string with URL and the name of that route, which, if you looked in the app, is admin underscore article underscore new. At the bottom, there's one more link to the homepage. Say URL app underscore homepage. Links done. But there's one other path we need to fix the path to this image. But forget about emails for a minute. This project uses Webpack Encore to compile its assets. I have an assets directory at the root, an images directory inside that, and an email slash logo.png file that I want to reference. You don't need to run Encore, but if you did, I've configured it to copy that file into a public slash build slash images directory. There it is public slash build slash images slash email slash logo dot six six one two five one eight one dot png. If you downloaded the starting code for the tutorial, you don't need to worry about running Encore only because we ran it for you and included the final built public slash build directory. I mean, you can run Encore if you want, you just don't need to because the built files are already there. The point is, whether you're using Encore or not, the end goal is to generate an absolute URL to a file that lives somewhere in your public directory. To do that in Twig, we use the asset function. Pass this build slash images slash email slash logo dot PNG. Because we're using Encore, we don't need to include the version hash that's part of the real file. The asset function will add that automatically. Go team! If you're not using Encore, it's the same process. Just use asset, then include the actual path to the physical file relative to the public directory. But this leaves us with the same problem we had for the generated URLs. By default, the asset function generates relative URLs. They don't contain the domain name. To fix that, wrap this in another function absolute underscore URL. And done. Ready to try this? Move over to the site. Go back. Change the email address again. We're going to do this a lot. Type a new password, wave a magic wand, and hit enter. Okay, no errors. A good sign. Over in MailTrap, it's already there. Oh, it looks so much better. We even have a working image, and if we hover over a link, the URL does contain our domain, localhost colon 8000. This is even more obvious in the HTML source. Everything has a full URL. Whoa, and our email also has a text part. How did that happen? In the controller, we only called HTML template. We removed our call to the text method. Well, thank you, Mailer. If you set the HTML on an email, but do not explicitly set the text, Symphony automatically adds it for you by calling strip tags on your HTML. That's awesome. Well, awesome, but not totally perfect. It included all the styles on top. Don't worry, we'll fix that soon. Kinda on accident. But the bottom looks pretty great with zero effort. Next, 
the URLs and image paths in our email are now dynamic, but nothing else is. Any self-respecting email must have real data, like the name of the user or their favorite color. Let's make the email truly dynamic by passing in variables. We'll also find out what other information is available for free from inside an email template. 